Hello everyone, um, I'm really glad to report um, that the fundraising for British Heart Foundation, I actually raised £500 and uh, I'd like to thank everybody that did bid, uh, but the particular winners, uh, Rob Paul, which is I think the third time in when I've done this, he's actually outbid everybody to get some goodies, thank you very much Rob. Uh, also Andy Wagstaff, the Hornchurch crew that I met at um, the 606 Club uh, when I saw my, uh, Phil and uh, Mike, um, thank you very much. Um, then there's also a guy in Illinois um, called Stacy Eskeet, I hope I've got that right, um, spent way too much, he spent £179 just on the one picture alone signed by Mark. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, I sent it off, sent the picture off to Mark, he sent it back to me, and getting £179 for British Heart Foundation is a fantastic result. Um, he also bought two other items, so I think he ended up spending about 230 quid, so thank you to you. Um, other two people were Stephen, who bought the Big Country um, posters, and Brent, who bought the Toya Wilcox uh, album. Um, I've got one little story, um, well first of all I did post Mr Pink the other day and if you read the heading on it, um, Mark actually dedicated that song to both me and Erica. Um, that was from this gig at the Kurzel in Ostend and we actually got to see the boys before the gig actually started. So this is backstage, um, as I said, before the gig started. Mark didn't say anything about he'd do a dedication to us, so that was really, really good. The annoying thing is, the guy that filmed it, Fabrice, who uh, is part of Ultimate 42, I have emailed him saying, did you get the 30 seconds before, but he's never let me know whether he did or he didn't. Because basically, Mark said, this is to my good friends, uh, Julian and Erica, who've come over from England. Um, we both go, hey! Um, and then everybody laughs, and then Mark says, I didn't realise uh, Erica had such a low voice. Um, and again, you know, from a fan's point of view, to get these little things done for you is, for me, what the whole journey's been about for the 30, 36 years now, um, and five different countries. You know, he didn't have to do that, he did do it, and, it, and, and again, it's a, you know, it just makes everything worthwhile. I was actually asked a question on the radio the other day about when I saw them once in three weeks, I thought them, sorry, I saw them three times in one week, why, surely it gets boring seeing them? But each gig that I went to that week had a different, um, something different happened to it. Um, on the way to the Norwich gig, we got lost, asked this farmer uh, where, where you go, and he said in a very northern uh, Norfolk accent, well, you go down round the roundabout on and then you turn right. And to be honest with you, we re all remember that gig for that man, <laughs> the farmer, more than the actual gig itself. A couple of days later, I went to Ipswich, arrived very late, pushed my way down the front, and Mark had just finished the third song and he goes, Jules, you're late tonight. So again, that made that gig um, completely different from the, the night, a couple of nights before. And then the best one of all was actually at the um, Hammersmith Palais the following weekend when we got backstage before uh, they went on stage again and Mark swapped our t-shirts and he wore our Havering Frunk Force t-shirt on stage, which again, there cannot be many stars that put, wear um, a fan's t-shirt on stage for an entire gig. So yet again, there's another thing there that's just fantastic and, uh, you know, fantastic for me for following them all this time. Um, I did find this the other day, um, <coughs> which is the confirmation of the trip to see the band through the fan club in September 1988. Now I have told this story once before, um, but Erica and I were the only two people who actually got backstage after the gig. And I said, we were on a, um, a, a do with, with the fan club, so there was, fifth, let's say there's 48 people on the coach. Um, we, we actually made the coach late and we missed the goddamn ferry that we were booked on. Um, now I have posted that story before and would you believe it, out of the 48 people on the bus, on the, on the uh, coach, a guy called Gary Bridges contacted me and said he was on the bus, on the coach as well. I remember being made late by, by me and my wife, Erica. So um, anyway, great stories. And I said, thank you very much for everybody who did bid in the auction. Because um, I said, even though you may not have got the items, you helped to, to raise 500 pounds. And I've said this before, 
you know, I don't hike the Himalayas, I don't run the marathon, all I do is sit here, sell some stuff and raise some money for either British Heart Foundation or um, St Francis Hospice. Thank you and bye bye everybody, bye bye.